Home burglaries are really not all that uncommon, but one San Juan family says that they were not about to let theirs be one of them. Early Sunday morning, the woman who lives in this humble San Juan home heard a noise outside her bedroom door. Like anyone would, she went to see what it was. She saw a guy with a ski mask holding a two by four wood log. So he immediately attacked my mom in the head and my mom was like, she was still conscious, but yet her blood was gushing out of her head. She ran back into the room calling her son's name. All I heard was my mom's screams and what I did, I immediately jumped on him. I choked him on a chokehold and he, was, he wasn't breathing. And I kept on choking him with all I got and he was on the floor and I was choking him and choking him and my mom was hitting him, hitting him in his feet with the same log he had. But the man still fought back. So my mom gave me a Mac light, an aluminum Mac light. She gave it to me and I started smacking him across the head probably like 15 or 20 times and the blood was gushing all over the wall and it got to the point where he told me to stop hitting him. He was because he was fading away, so my mom gave him water because he was asking for water. At one point, the burglar even bit the boy. Oh, I was I was trying to shut him up because he was screaming, and I guess my finger slipped slipped into his mouth, and he he bit me. With another hand, the boy called the cops, who he says arrived about five minutes later. If it wasn't for them, we would have we would have like been dead or something. Police arrested 22-year-old Luis Eduardo Rodriguez. Now the family says they hope this is a warning to anyone thinking of invading another home in their community. We are tired of these home invasions. We are tired of these criminals entering our home. Rodriguez was charged this afternoon with two counts of burglary of habitation and his bond was set at $200,000. Reporting from the Hidalgo County Newsroom, I'm Brett Crandall for Action 4 News.